the Icons of Real Estate podcast. Are you ready to learn the proven money-making secrets from top producing icon agents? Ready to skyrocket your business? This podcast is for you. Tune in every week with your host, Tomasz Fonseca, and find out how to implement proven strategies to 10 times your business. From $3 million to $30 million in just 12 months. Brought to you by the Masters in Real Estate Marketing, Arter SEO. Welcome to the Icons of Real Estate. I'm Tim Calloway. We have a very special guest for you today from Marin County out in California, Megan Pomponio. Pomponio. Oh, yeah. Pomponio. Yes, <laughs> I'll get it right. Uh, <laughs> Megan is a, a native to Marin County, which is wonderful. And she is a member of the exclusive Marin County Platinum Group, which is actually the top 100 agents in the area. And uh, she brings more than two decades of experience in that area selling luxury homes. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Yeah, fantastic. Glad to have you here. You're in a wonderful, beautiful area, and I'm glad the heat has broken for you. Uh, so that's exciting. You get that nice fall weather. So Yes, it's gorgeous here. Marin County, especially in the fall, is one of my favorite times. Yeah, it's a beautiful area for sure. If anybody hasn't been able to get out there, if you ever take a tour of California, that's definitely uh, one of the places that you want to hit. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Megan, tell me about um, how you started, you know, and what got you into the business and kind of what got you to where you are now. Okay. Well, I started um, actually in about 2009, I think it, it was mm -hmm. a, here in Marin County. And uh, my husband has been in, in the mortgage business for I don't know, 25 years or something. And I was always surrounded by real estate agents and appraisers and, and mortgage people. And I thought, you know, I love looking at homes and I was constantly doing it. And I thought I might as well get paid <laughs> to do right. this. Uh, I enjoy it so much. And um, so I got my license and um, and started here in Marin County. And I initially started my first year, I think I worked about eight months, eight or 10 months with a top producer here in Marin. And I was fortunate enough to work out something where I was getting paid my first year. So, um, you know, it's, it's a tough business to get into and it, you know, if you're relying hundred percent on commission, it can be really tough. So sure. I, I remember when I first prior to getting that position, I remember I was searching, you know, online and looking at all these people selling million dollar homes and, um, I basically said to my husband, you know, I want to work for this company. Everybody had sold a million, two million, five million. Sure. And uh, he said, well, you don't know anybody there. And I said, well, um, I don't care. <laughs> so I started <laughs> making the phone calls and right. I connected with uh, the vice president manager uh, for the Kentfield office um, for this one company. And uh, she set up a meeting with me and I sat with her and just told her, I, you know, I had zero experience and, um, she said, I want to work with you. And oh, Annette nice. ended up connecting me with another top producer and, or a top producer. And it, it all started there. So spent my first year working side by side with, um, this realtor and really kind of got the lay of the land. I knew probably a few months in that I was, um, wanting to be going on to, on my own. And, um, after leaving that relationship, I connected with a new company and I was rookie of the year that year. So wow. I, I was very determined to, um, to be successful and I worked my butt off and that was my first year. And every year after that, I just, um, just did better. So, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. So tell me what it's like in Marin County when you're, you're, you know, how do you break into the market in Marin County? I mean, I, I'm in Southeast Florida, not that every geographic area does it differently, but I, to me, that's, that's a niche area, right? I mean, it, there's a lot of people, a lot of homes, but it is a niche area. 
Yes. Uh, there are about 2000 agents. I, I don't know what the count is today. I know a lot of people got their license in 2020. Right. Um, everybody, so, was, everybody was all in, right? Yes. Everybody was all in. Uh, I think um, it, it's not easy to break into. I, I would say it's definitely not easy to break into the market and particularly luxury home sales. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'm from Marin County and it helps that I have connections here in Marin County, but I'll tell you, you know, nobody hires you when you're straight out of, you know, getting your real estate license. I mean, you really have to work hard to, to, um, to prove yourself. And, uh, I didn't count on getting any, you know, family or friend referrals, uh, out the gate. I really had to work hard to try to make a name for myself. And so, you know, you have to have super thick skin. I, wow. I had a lot of nose. I mean, I, I knocked on doors uh, the first, um, year in real estate and uh, oddly enough, uh, I sold a house this year, uh, from a door knock 12, 13 years ago. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, did I they say, I hey, I found anymore. your I found your card under the couch. I mean, I mean, I, that, that's flip, I know, but <laughs> so I, you know, I don't know how I think I just kept uh, that client or that person on the mailing list or mm -hmm. after I connected. We liked each other when we first met and they opened the door for me. But years and years later, I knew that eventually um you know, it might stick and, and sure enough, it did, but I was, you know, I came from a sales background, so I knew that, you know, it's, it's a number of conversations that you have to have and it's, it's a numbers game. You'll eventually somebody will stick. And I did very well at open houses. I mean, some people hate open houses, but I, I love open houses and I love meeting people. And that really launched my career, I would say. Who hates open houses? Come on. Open houses are great. I love open houses. <laughs> you do, but not everybody loves it when they're working it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You're, you're, get... you're, giving, you're giving up your Sunday in some cases, you know, yeah, and true. some people don't like doing that, but I, yeah. I actually enjoyed it and built a database that way. Yeah, I think that's fantastic for sure. <laughs> uh, it, are, are you solo? Or do you have a team around you? Or I'm I've been solo uh, pretty much the majority of my career. I'm just now expanding, oh, so okay. I'm I'm bringing on somebody um, as a, an assistant, a um, also somebody who to who is going to help me with buyers and bless you. Easy. Yeah. And um and listings as well. So uh that is starting to change, which will be new for me, but I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm gonna delve into that a little bit more. I have to know what you know, what time did you, you did you wake up and say, Okay, today's the day. I think it's time I bring somebody in. Uh, because I know solo, a lot of solo agents I talk to are like, I don't want a team. I have support staff in the office. And I don't want to have to do that. So what, what was the big change for you? So uh, I've been pretty much saying it to myself for the last five years that I need somebody. Um, because the reality is, if you're a busy agent, it's really hard. You can't be everywhere at once. And um, I started realizing a couple of things. One time, um, I have teenage girls and mm -hmm. I knew that, you know, my time is limited with them. And it was just as my daughter was graduating, um, high school this last May, I said, I can't, I can't, um, I can't do it alone anymore. Really? Yeah. I, had a, an, I have enough business and, um, to, to keep somebody else busy. And I also don't want to lose touch with my current clients. And as you grow over the years, your database is bigger. And it was really important to me to, to get more systems in place and also to gain more time with yeah. my family. So, so that yeah, was, that, that, go ahead. That's, that's the big thing. I mean, it was really that, that it's, and, um, 
And also I've reached a point in my career where giving back is super important to me. So being more involved in the community, being able to provide information to prospective buyers and just people out there that don't know about the home selling process or home buying process. And so I started doing educational videos and, um, and just being able to give back a little bit more. So that's important. To very me nice. Yeah, very nice. So the educational videos, I, um, you know, I've, I've worked with realtors since 2008, somewhere around that. And then prior to that, I had worked indirectly with uh, REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust since 1992. So I'm giving away how long, how long I've been around. But um, <laughs> so, but so my question is, um, you know, looking at the time frame that you had gotten into the business about the same time I started working, helping agents market, you're doing videos now. Mm -hmm. And what have you found, you know, what's the big difference there in doing videos uh, versus, to, you know, however you started in 2009 uh, where it was more door to door, you know, like you were doing the door to door mm -hmm. um, where, you know, how, how are the videos working out? I guess that's the, best, the easiest question. Well, I, you know, I, Initially, um, first of all, it's it was terrifying for me. I thought I do not want to be on camera and oh, come on. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't do it. And I finally just said, and I knew for a while that it was going to be something that I mean, the whole everything's changing. Everything is online now. People search online, people look for homes online, and and so we've moved to this whole digital world and especially with the pandemic, right? right. We, um, we then didn't have that face-to-face -face communication and everybody was online. And I didn't until 2021 really do my first video. But I, but I thought, look, people, I was a, a home purchaser. I, I, I purchased homes prior to becoming a realtor. And there were so many things that I wish I had known. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to be that resource. I'm going to be able to share my experiences and be able to give um, information to people who are just starting out, who really don't know, Right. Um, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is. I, I thought, I mean, a perfect example. I remember buying a house and there were, there were no screens on, on the windows and I didn't know that a so I it wasn't pointed out to me and um I just didn't want that to happen to somebody else it's not a big deal right the screens on the window is is a small problem but yeah. but if I can give some information and and also have people maybe learn from some mistakes I made yeah. then um I can it, it can be useful and I can help people that's all yeah I think that's great I think the the four others mentality you know when when you do wake up that one day and you realize I want to help others and, you know, ultimately not just myself, uh, a lot more comes back to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's, that's really what happens there. And um, so let me ask you this, Megan, we, we talked about how you got started and we kind of talked about where you are now. You, you brought on your first person and you're kind of growing that team. Um, so what does the next year look like? I won't go out as far as five years. And a lot of people, oh, what's the next five years look like? Well, you know, but the next year, I mean, what do you see different? What do you, uh, you know, where do you see yourself? So I see myself um, continuing with um, providing useful information for the, you know, community. I would like to be and plan to be more involved in the community. Okay. I have um, deep roots here in Marin and um and, you know, every Friday, uh, my husband, and, my husband's in the mortgage business. He's been doing that forever. And he and I, every Friday, we provide free coffee to veterans, nice. um, first responders and teachers because they deserve it. Right. Yeah, sure. and, and so, I, and one of that, I, I want to say that that has been bringing me, uh, both of us so much joy. We just love being able to provide that. Um, we'd like to just do more things like that in the community and, and, um, take that, take this time to give back. I, I intend to, um, continue doing well in real estate and, 
Um, I don't plan on growing a large team. I really thought that just um, keeping it small and um, really being the face of, of the team, really being client facing and not really passing it on to other people. And it, you know, n- no um, disrespect to people who have very, very large teams because that sure. works for them too. I think for me, um, I still want to be able to um, be the one um, who is meeting my clients and providing one-on-one um, service and um, and just continuing to educate. That's, that's really what I want to do. I want to be able to inspire other people to to reach their dream and purchase in Marin or really anywhere. I mean, I've got contacts all over the world. I can connect. I've, I've done a lot of referral business in the last year, um, nice. really, really developing my agent to agent relationships uh, across the country. And um, that has been tremendous and, um, and love, you know, obviously helping people that are leaving California, but, right. but um yeah, just, just continuing to do what I'm doing, but also gain a little bit more time for myself and enjoy life. Because I will tell you for the people who think that real estate is, um, all rainbows and, (laughs) you know, it's, it's a really tough business. It can take a lot out of you. Um, and, um, while there's a lot of financial reward, um, with a lot of hard work, it's not super easy and you really have to work. Um, you know, I found that the first several years in my business, I was working 24 hours a day, practically, I mean, sleeping, I I exaggerate with 24, but you know, um, it was, it was nonstop. Um, I, I feel like, um, I'm just saying I, you're probably not exaggerating. I, and, and the only reason I say that is, is because I've worked with so many realtors and they go, oh, no, no, I'm taking some time off tonight. My my spouse and I are going to go do this. And they will answer the phone 10 times during Guilty. that dinner. And some people, yeah. yeah, some people are like that. And that, to me, <laughs> equates into 24 hour a day position. So Well, I, I will say um, the first... I remember the first few years in, in business, um, were, you know, you're hungry, right? You want to make a name for yourself. And it's not easy because you're competing with people who have been doing this for, you know, 10, 20 years. And I was available all the time. And I remember, you know, having little kids and, um, and, you know, there were times where I wasn't present mentally, Right. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. physically there, but not present mentally um, because, you know, I knew that I had to make that call or or do the research or whatever. Right. And, um, you know, I can't go back. So I don't want to focus on what I did or didn't do. Right. But when you're starting the business, that's all you're doing is is, you know, again, you're having dinner, you're thinking about that next call that you have to make. And I remember I got a call, a, a, a call at 10 o'clock at night and I, I answered it. And, um, the next day I found out that, uh, these particular clients decided that they were going to buy with a builder. So, which is not very common here. We don't have a lot of new construction right. we're in and they were going to buy with a builder. They found uh, somebody and I had spent probably six months showing property and mm-hmm. answering the phone at odd hours, texting during dinner. And I said, forget it, forget it. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm setting boundaries. And I started with the, you know, turning my phone on at a certain time in the morning and turning it off at seven o'clock at night. Now, did it last? Was I a hundred percent, you know, never, yeah. you know, veered right. from that? No. But the minute I began um, creating those boundaries, I actually found that I was getting a lot more respect from people and uh, my business grew. I, I want to say once I started doing that, I probably doubled my business in the first oh, wow. year of setting those boundaries. Yeah. yeah. That a was early on, but yeah, a scheduled life is a lot easier to manage, right? I mean, right. That, that's really what it is. We're just scheduling our scheduling our lives. Yes, so, absolutely. So, if anybody in Marin or uh, or outside of Marin is looking to to move into the area or maybe list a home with you, uh, Megan, how would they get in touch with you? 
So I am on Instagram um, at Megan Pomponio. I'm also on Facebook. I'm LinkedIn. Uh, I'm all, all over on the social pla uh, platforms, but my website is Megan Sells Marin. So you can you reach there. me through the website. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, you are the guest and this is the part of the show as we wind down that I kind of give you the floor and you talk about, you know, give you the final word. So if there's something we didn't cover or maybe you have a, a, a favorite charity you want to talk about, floor is yours. Oh, fantastic. Um, an organization. So a couple of organizations that I am really um wanting to get more involved in and, and definitely passionate about my husband's a veteran and we definitely support veterans. And I think that, um, that in the past veterans have gotten kind of the, um, not really been given an opportunity with home buying and yeah. it's the guidelines are changing and it's becoming a, a little bit easier, but I, we definitely support veterans. We want to get them into housing and also the, um, uh, organization for Alzheimer's research is something that is really important to me and something I'm getting involved in now. So yeah, those are two organizations that I'm, I'm, um, going to be focusing on in the next coming months and also home for a home. I perch, I, um, give, uh, a percentage of my commission to building homes in Guatemala for oh, nice. those less fortunate. And mm -hmm. I've been able to build, um, I think three homes, two or three homes already. Nice. And I'm going to keep doing that. So that yeah. feels really good. Yeah. That, that's a great cause for sure. Well, Megan, thanks so much for being on the show. We've really enjoyed it. And I definitely like to circle back around later on and, and see how things have progressed for you over the year. Well, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Hey, have a great weekend and uh, be safe. You too. All right. Take care.